40,000 Palestinians have now been killed in Gaza, a majority of whom are civilians. And these numbers are from the Palestinian Ministry of Health, but they are backed up by the United States, by international organizations. Humanitarian conditions in Gaza have degraded so much that diseases like polio uh, and hepatitis A are now spreading. We have seen countless children be orphaned. We have seen countless mothers lose their children. How much is too much, sir? At what point is it time to end this war? Well, we'll end the war when we uh, achieve our war goals of making sure that Hamas can't repeat such atrocities. But we're fighting this war in a just war with just means. In fact, with means that no other army has, uh, has ever fought. No other army has done, has taken the uh, precautions that Israel has taken, sometimes at great risk, to make sure that we minimize the number of casualties. You talked about polio. We enable now massive vaccination of uh, uh, polio. We want 90% of the Gazan uh, people of Gaza uh, uh, <coughs> vaccinated. I think 200,000, 200, 200, uh, I think we're ma uh, vaccinated today. We put in a million tons of food, a million tons of aid, 700,000 tons of food. That's unheard of. We've taken, uh, because we think that every civilian death is a tragedy. For Hamas, every civilian death is a strategy. For us, it's a tra tragedy. There are 1.4 million people in Gaza. They moved from the north to the south. You're going to have thousands, 20,000 killed. You're going to have a catastrophe, a humanitarian catastrophe. They have no place to go, no food to eat. Now report honestly, because here's what happened. They all left. They went to the humanitarian zone, which is two miles away, less on the beach. They have tents. We supplied tents for 150,000 people. The aid agencies supplied the rest, and some of them carried their own tents. They have a place. We supplied water lines, sewage lines, food. There's more to be done, medical. So now we know how many people were killed, how many terrorists, because we counted them. And we just passed 2,000. Terrorists, body counts of terrorists. The people left. How many civilians died? I asked the commander, the commander of the, uh, of the division that did the Rafah operation and the Philadelphia corridor. He said, uh, Prime Minister, there are hardly any civilian deaths because everybody left. They heeded our warnings. But he said there were probably two dozen, and most of them occurred, two dozen, and most of them occurred when uh, one of our bombs hit uh, a Hamas ammunition depot that was planted inside a residential area. Forty people died, about 20 were terrorists, but 20 were civilians. And he said that's most of the deaths. That's the lowest ratio of non-combatants to combatants in the history of urban warfare. That's it. Now report honestly, because you accused us of something that is outrageous. And in fact, the accusations against us are outrageously false. Humanitarian aid? A million trucks of aid? A million tons of aid? 700,000 tons of food? A deliberate starvation policy? You can say anything. Doesn't make it true. You repeat a lie over and over and over again. It assumes the cachet of self-evident truth, but it's false. Israel is doing, and the Israeli army is doing, something that no other army has done in history and will continue to do that. I'm not going to change my policies, humanitarian policies, vaccination policies, combat policies to minimize civilian casualties.